Today at the Boot Guys, we are going to dissect this Red Wing 2406 Steel Tone. So first off, I want to thank my buddy Lance for donating this pair of boots to me. So this is the Red Wing 2406 Steel Toe American Made 2.0 Super Sole, which is the dual density, the soft urethane inside, and it's got this hard shell on the outside. What we're going to do today is we are going to dissect this boot. We're going to take it apart. We're going to look inside. We're going to check out all the parts. So basically, I'm going to let these cameras roll while I start cutting this thing up. So the first part, I'm going to start right here in the steel toe section. I'm going to cut along the steel toe, and then I'm going to try and take off the whole upper from there. So we're only left with the steel toe and the sole. That actually cut through pretty damn nice, I gotta say. I'm trying to get this as close as possible to the welt. So I'm leaving. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have to cut it on an angle against the welt to get through the liner. I should probably take out the insole because that's in my way. So that's the insole. He really put a lot of miles into this thing. And the inside is just covered in crap. Am I deflecting against uh, the pour on? I keep hitting the pour on inside here. the heel cup so that's a couple layers of leather in there go so that's the inside of the 2406 look at these layers so here's the heel the heel quarter check that out he wore through so here's the the hard part okay there's the there's what makes your heel stiff some sort of fiberboard. I do not know what this fiberboard is called, but it's some sort of fiberboard. I don't think it's leather. It could be leather. It looks like it is leather because of the way it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look like it's masonite or some sort of press material. It looks like it's a cured leather, but I'm sure you guys will comment down below in the comment box. You guys that make shoes, you guys can tell me what this heel quarter is made out of because it is something else. So the tongue section, let's see, where should we go next? So that's the inside. So check that out. He actually wore through the whole heel section just by, just by wearing it. He just, through pure friction, he wore through that heel section there. That is something else. 
So here we have the sole, and here we have all of the lint and dust. This is the poron that they put in the bottom of the 2406. Let's see if we can get underneath there. This is probably not the best tool for this. I should probably grab a screwdriver. So, let's use this flathead. Let's get underneath there. There we go. Nice. Looks like that's prying up real nice. down to the Texan board. All right, you should probably get rid of this part here. We're going to cut out the steel toe now, which is originally why I also wanted these, because for some reason I've been collecting steel toes out of old boots, and I don't know why. I don't know, it's just one of those, one of those obsessions or just those things that we start doing as guys start collecting stupid stuff. All right, so. Let's get this piece of leather started right there. Okay, so under the steel toe, through the leather. I'm really surprised just how easy these things cut apart. Now, there it is. So this is what's underneath a steel toe. So that's the steel toe. It's an actual piece of steel toe. There is a, some rubber inside there. On this side of the steel toe, you have some rubber and then you have your vamping material which is the which is a cotton material and then they have the liner which is the same liner that you see here so and that's a pretty thick leather on the front of this boot let's cut that away I mean, that is some really, really thick leather. Red Wing uses a hell of a great hand of leather. I mean, this boot is over a year old. And I mean, this is over a year old. He wears it seven days a week. He owns one pair of boots. He's one of those types of guys. And the 2.0 sole, look at that. I mean, it's wearing here, okay? The heel has a little wear. He doesn't pronate at all. I mean, it's evenly right down the center. It's, it's evenly worn on each side. The center part here, a little wear. The tip, a little bit. But I mean, 2.0 soles, this is just how they wear. They don't wear out. So you know that these things are resolable. So let's see if we can get down, down into the shank section, because that's what I want to pull out, is the shank. Let's see, so how am I going to get down in there? Let's see if I can cut. It should just be a matter of getting into there, cutting down. Exactly what I was looking for right there. There's the shank. So I always talk about shanks and boots. And there it is. That's your shank. 
that's your piece looks like a piece of fiberglass that sure is it's a fiberglass shank it's got some shape to it you know it's got a little shape in there it's not completely square or flat you know it's got a little shape but there's the shank and there's the really soft urethane down in there so the next thing would be to figure out how to get the welt off Let's see if we can do that looks like I might be able to get that welt out of there Let's see if we can just do that right there So that's the welt. Remember, 2406, it's resolable. It's one of the few boots that's not a stitch down, a sew down welt that is resolable. But how they get that welt out of there, I do not know. Because that thing is glued down pretty damn good. There we go. Got started. Oh man, I'd love to get some more of that out of there. I think I need a little bit stronger tool than these this Leatherman. That's the 2406, completely dissected, down to pieces. We've got the sole, we've got the midsole, we got the poron on top of there, insole, steel toe, leather over that and the upper that's the 2406 dissected hey guys thanks a lot for watching please remember hit that subscribe button below and if you have any questions about work boots or work gear or anything like that remember you can always shoot me over an email all right until the next time i'm the boot guy thanks a lot for watching